Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll go through how to use the Phantom Wallet on the Solana blockchain. Not only that, but also how to stake your Solana or perform a swap so that you can be eligible for future potential airdrops. To get started, we need to obviously get to the Phantom Wallet itself. So I'm gonna go to the ecosystem here and I'm gonna click on the Phantom Wallet. It seems as if all these cryptocurrency projects seems to reward early users or early adapters to their protocols or their blockchain. So it's very imperative to watch this video until the end so that you can be well informed with regards to what you need to do next. So I'm going to click on try it here and obviously I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. Once you're here, you want to make sure that you add this to your Chrome. So I'm going to click add to Chrome. You can see that mine is already added here, but if it wasn't, it will allow me to add to Chrome. So once that setup is done, you can actually come here to the wallet. Once you have your wallet set up correctly, then you want to go ahead and obviously fund your wallet. In this case, I'm using the Bitru exchange. So I'm going to click on that and head over to deposit. I'm going to deposit USDT and the network that I actually want to use is the Tron network. Now that I have that selected, I'm going to pull up my app and obviously scan this QR code over here. Once the QR code is scanned, I have to select the network. You want to make sure that you're selecting the right network. The network must always correspond. You can see here in this case, I'm using the Tron network, the TRC20, but obviously you can use other networks as well. So you want to make sure that the network is correct. If the network is not correct, you're going to lose your funds. So once you have that sorted out, you want to send over your funds. In this case, I'm going to just send over 500 or let's say 510 US dollars and press send. After you've got your funds reflected on your wallet, just go direct to the exchange. I'm going to click on that. And over here, I want to buy Sol. So I'm going to type Sol. Over here, you can see that we now have our balance here. I'm just going to buy it at the market price for the sake of being very fast. So you can see that I'm getting about 3.6 Sol. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Confirm. Order submitted successfully. Now that we've bought our Solana, what we want to do is to go ahead and withdraw it. Over here, I'm going to select Solana. And you can see that this is the amount of money that we have. So I'm going to come to my wallet right here. And from here, I want to receive. So I'm going to deposit. I want to deposit Solana. This is my address. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to come here and I'll actually put my address right here. And I'm just going to withdraw everything. So I'm going to say max. All right, now we should have our funds reflecting here on our wallet. Let's check it out. Indeed, we have about 500 US dollars on our wallet right here. And you can see that the funds have reflected. However, the price of Seoul have dropped since we did the deposit. So what we can do in this case, we can perform a swap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap, let's say, three Solana, for example, I'm going to swap 3.5 and I'm going to swap it to USDT. Let's review this. We can see slippage. We're going to talk about that in future videos. Let's swap this. Let's close it. Come back to our assets. You can see now we have USDT and a little bit of Solana. So that can make you eligible to get future airdrops on Phantom. Now, you don't necessarily have to send $500. You, it can be 200, whatever the case may be. Um, I don't think there will be a minimum. All right, now that we actually perform the swap, it should be good enough for us to be, you know, eligible for this future potential airdrop of the Phantom wallet token. But we also want to go a step further by staking our cryptocurrency. Now, it would have been much easier for us to just come to the Radium network here and start staking from there. But as we already know, Radium already has a token. And you can actually see here that the Radium token is actually trading above $5.5. So we want to go ahead and look for a protocol that has a future potential airdrop as well so that we can kill two beds with one stone. I don't know why we're killing the beds, but anyway, the protocol that I'm talking about here is Soshin. So I'm going to come to the protocol right here and sort of like connect the wallet. So I'm going to connect my Phantom wallet that we just created. So I'm going to click connect on that. You can see it's connected right at the bottom right here. And if we look further, you can actually see if I can just come and bring this over here, control F. 
and you can see that it actually says here on this list that it is rumored that the airdrop will actually come and it makes sense and so that's the reason why we're actually not using the radium protocol or the radium uh, platform rather try to use a protocol that is completely different so what i'm going to do in this case i'm going to come here and slide over to 100 percent remember as we did the swap i left some solana on my wallet so that we can obviously go ahead and stake it i'm going to leave the rest of the funds on usdt because the market is not really really doing great at the moment by the way i'm going to make a separate video on social platform that video is going to be coming up next that video is going to go in depth with regards to the apy and the amount of money that you can earn if you're staking on this protocol so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and just go and stake here and obviously you have to approve your transactions on your wallet so i'm going to go ahead and approve this but obviously you can just sort of like see the transaction fees everything is broken down for you here so i'm going to go ahead and approve that and you can see it was successful now we can go ahead and view this on the solana blockchain explorer so now when you actually come to your wallet you should be able to see the amount of money that you have put towards the staking pool this is something that can also be referred to as lp tokens if you don't know what is lp tokens we're going to be diving into more details with regards to you know staking yield farming and providing liquidity on a liquidity pool especially on sunday swap protocol so make sure that you are subscribed and stay tuned for that so that's going to be coming out in q1 of 2022 so make sure that you subscribe for that but you can see that now we have this amount of money that we've put towards the stake pool and obviously in this video i was just demonstrating how to actually stake in the next video we're, we're going to dive into more details uh, and obviously exploring the crazy apys that you can obviously find in the world of DeFi. and that video should be popping on your screen right now before you go ahead and check that video out it is very important that you smash the like button on this video before you click on that now go ahead and click on that i'll see you there goodbye for now peace